Hello, my name is Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions and welcome to today's quick tutorial on how to add pipes to a profile view in Civil 3D. This video is going to show you inside Civil 3D how to add pipes and parts to an existing profile view, how to create a profile view using pipes and parts in a pipe network, and also where you can go to edit those pipes and parts inside that profile view once they're already in there. So to start off, we're just going to run through the steps on how to add pipes and parts from a pipe network into a profile view. I have the plan view over on this side here showing the both the roads, the design roads, and the pipe network here. And then I have some profile views over here already created using the center line alignments for those proposed roads. We are going to uh, just start and focus on this Logan Court profile view. And I'm going to show you how to add pipe, a pipe and some parts to this profile view. So I know this is Logan Court, so I'm going to go ahead and select this pipe and both of these manholes on the end of this pipe because those are the parts and pipes from this network that I want to be shown in this profile view. So once I have them selected, I can right click and it's as simple as selecting this draw parts in profile view. Once you select that, it prompts you to select the profile view that you want those shown in. I'm going to come over here, select this profile view, and you'll see those pop right in there. So that's one way you can add pipes and parts from a pipe network into an existing profile view. Uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at is if you didn't have these profile views set up and you wanted to create a profile view from these pipes and parts in a network, I'm again going to just go ahead and focus on this uh, Logan Court, and I'm going to come up to Alignment, Create Alignment, Create Alignment from Network Parts, and it is now prompting me to select the first connected network part, Piper Structure. I'm going to go ahead and select this manhole structure, next pipe, and then again this bar manhole up here. And those are the three that I'm going to choose to show. So I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to prompt me for this create alignment from pipe network dialog box to choose a site. If I had an existing site that I wanted to place these on, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at none. For the alignment name, I'm just going to leave the defaults for now. But if you wanted to change that to Logan Sanitary or, or whatever, um, whatever nomenclature you find easiest to reference once these are designed. You can change the type of that alignment, whether it's a center line, offset, etc. You can choose a starting station number. You can change the alignment style in here, choose a layer, the alignment label set. Thing you want to focus on most is making sure that you have this check mark here in the create profile and profile view box because that's what we want to do. Create a profile view using these this pipe and parts. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Here it's asking which surface you want to reference because to create that profile for that pipe network for that alignment, um, we need to be referencing a surface. So I'm going to just go ahead and add both the existing and the proposed. From there, I'm going to select this drawn profile view. Here it brings me to the create profile view dialog box. Here it prompts you to go through some more properties that you can choose for the profile view, the station range, height, etc. We're focusing on how to add these pipes and parts, so I'm just going to scroll through next. 
until I get to this pipe and pressure network. Here I can see it has those three pieces of that pipe network, the two structures, manholes, and the pipe selected, so I know that's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and create profile view. Once I hit the create profile view, it's asking me for the origin, the lower left hand corner for that profile view. I'm going to find some place in model space that isn't on top of my design or anything else. And just go ahead and left click where I want that profile view to land. Um, you can see I just left all the defaults for the profile view setting, so there's specific labels. There you have it. The last thing we're going to touch base on is say you had these in there and you changed your mind. You have this profile view and you no longer wanted these pipes and structures shown inside of here. So if I wanted to edit those, the, which parts and pipes inside that pipe network were shown in this profile view, I simply click that profile view. You can see this contextual ribbon comes up related strictly to the profile view. Um, you can choose the profile properties there, or you can right click and go to profile view properties as well. And inside here, now you have this pipe networks tab where you can turn the pipes and structures on and off as you wish. If I apply that, you can see that I just took those two structures off. You could take the pipe off as well. And that is where you will edit those inside of that profile view. Thanks for watching. My name's Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions. You can reach out to me at ehelps at siler-ds.com or the whole CAD technical team at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Or you can head over to www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog, and you can subscribe to our blogs, newsletter, and take a look at the other services and training that we can provide.